Do you have a manicure manicurist these days? Yes, I do, but <laughs> she's out in LA and I know she's worried about me because she hasn't seen me in months and my feet are getting rough. But I have I have my own um, pedicure kit and manicure kit because I have free time uh, got time got time to work on that. I actually have been work I have a like a callus removal kit. That Ooh. I, you know, it's not as sexy as it sounds, but you know, it works. It, it works. Just walking around my house in the sock all night. Yeah, no. it's it's I, I you know you gotta the only thing I haven't been keep, to keeping uh, up with is my beard. I'm just letting my beard flourish and, and and live its own its best life. But like my fingernails and my toes, it's just like yo, like I see them every day, and it's just like if you have like you know dirt that you don't know where it came from under your fingernails when you wake up in the morning it's like yo you've been scratching your ass all night that's not good you know what I'm saying do you moisture do you guys moisturize your beards oh yeah. yes I all have time. actually a beard bonnet so what? it looks so, oh. yeah it's a bonnet <gasps> for it goes around my beard uh, and it's basically like a bonnet for women's hair but you put when you put like conditioner or you do like an overnight hot oil treatment you put it on it so it doesn't get on the pillowcase and now that everyone's wearing masks i just leave it on when i walk mac in the morning and i'm like hey what's up floss it on you bitches yes it's real ah uh, stiff wear stiff wear wow oh. that's brilliant <laughs> Whoa. Listen, i just i have i have mad dude. sisters what do you expect come on <laughs> i just i just learned everything from them yeah no i just i, I have like a beard conditioner that I put on in the shower and then like I like I put it on first right and then I just like mm -hmm. do everything else like wash my you know armpits and my you know grundle and then uh, mm -hmm. rinse that off a little beard butter okay just you know brush it down a little bit and then like a little a little bit of pomade on the ends you know what I'm saying because you, you get those little like <laughs> little curly cues flyaways yeah little fly yeah. gotta can't have flyaways you know what I mean yeah. maximum hold so wow that's my yeah regimen. I mean and Heather is so fucking bored that she will actually, she's actually uh, done the little, like, the cheese grater thing on my feet. Oh, God. That's where we're at, yeah. Have you guys ever done baby feet? Yeah, I heard of it, and fucking I want to do it feet. so, yeah, it's like a foot mask, and it literally just, like, sloughs off, like, three layers of skin off your feet, and then you have, like, porn feet. It's fucking great. But, like, See? it takes, like, two weeks, and, because you're basically, like, putting your feet in bags of acid. Yeah. And then two weeks later, you just have like dead skin everywhere for a week. Yeah, it's like a snake. Wow. It's like your foot is like a bow constrictor, <laughs> yeah. like molting its skin. That shit is dope. That's <sighs> that's wild, disrespectful. My parents walked around shoeless in Jamaica too long for me to do that. Yeah, <laughs> it's real gross. My dad be like, "Let wow. me see your feet." Then I rough it off. Julia, you ever did? Julia, you ever did the what is like the fish massage where they have the fish eat the Ooh, dead no, skin? No, like, no, no, never. The, uh, never fish ew. pedicure. Ew, I want to do that so bad. Ew. Field peace. Field piece. I mean, yeah. You know what? You guys should do it. What if they're too Actually, rough? they're all closed now, so let's just order. Yo, Mike Negri, order Mac Goldfish. <laughs> and we'll just put them in like a pot. <laughs> Mike's, like, <laughs> next filming. Mike's like, oh, I got a tank of 20 piranhas from Robin from the rundown. <laughs> <laughs> Left over from the rundown. We can use that. <laughs> I'm like, let's do it. <laughs> yes, spa day. Let's do it. They're going to be like, yo, yes. <laughs> Yo, Miro's driver's outside with your piranhas. I'm like, oh, wow. Like, what's up? Hey, what's up, Chief? He's like, Yo, you better wash those piranhas first. I'm like, Yeah, you're right. You're right. Cool. Yeah, Chief's been busy. Yo, been Chief's doing been busy. Shout out to Chief. Chief the the drop you know what I'm saying? Production extraordinaire does it all. The Swiss Army now for production. Um, okay, some some sports news, right? Oh, so this sports? Is it goss? Is it? It's some goss. Okay. Why didn't you start with goss? Hey, come on, we come here for the goss, Julia. I know. You, I know, <laughs> I know. <laughs> we are ESPN. We are ESPNG. Okay. <laughs> it's yeah. been goss. Okay. Uh, Kobe Bryant, Tim Duncan, Kevin Garnett lead star-studded Hall of Fame class. They're all gonna get themselves. They're all gonna be first ballot Hall of Famers. This is like. They're like it's some tiny goss. Yeah, it's like baby goss. It's tiny goss. Yeah, baby, baby goss. Goss, 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 goss. That's good though. Yo, Kevin Garnett. Shout out to Kevin Garnett. He, I, I respect Kevin, Kevin Garnett Gar because he still curses like publicly. Like he's a Hall of Famer. He's like revered NBA player. You know, tough. You know, as tough as nails. Plays the game the right way. Blah blah blah. But he'll still be like, "Yo, shut the fuck up, motherfucker!" Like literally, <laughs> while sitting courtside to another player. 
Ke- uh, Kevin Garnett gets into the Hall of Fame strictly off that one game against Melo, where he got in Melo's head, and Melo tried to fight him by the bus afterwards. What do you say? He said La La tastes like uh, <gasps> Honey Nut Cheerios, something uh, like that. I, honey Nut Cheerios. I was, oh, that allegedly, I, that was the alleged thing. <laughs> and all I then people said that's not what he said, but all I know is the look on Melo's face after he went like 0 for 71 after that comment. Yo, like, I think he might have said it. Yo, he was he was breaking all those shots because he was just like, yo, I'm, oh, I can't wait till this game is over. I'm like, yo, let's just turn over, turn over. Turn over, run the clock. Let's go. Let's. I'm waiting for this line. I respect Melo's energy on that though. Like the waiting for the team bus. Like you got lawyer money. Did he beat the shit out of him? He did it. No, he they didn't fight. To. Come on. No, they're not. They're, they go. They all they're the millionaires. Bus. They ain't gonna fight. Kevin, they ain't gonna fight. Also, Kevin Garnett. Melo got, Kevin Garnett is notorious for being like the guy that like pushes you and pushes you and pushes you, but he only he picks the right people. You know what I mean? Like he'll pick mm-hmm. like you know Stoya Stoyakovic that just got here from fucking the Ukraine. And shit, he's like, yo, you fucking pussy ass motherfucker. And the guy's like, I do not understand what pussy. <laughs> I, lo- I do not understand what you say to me. I am frightened. You know? He's a bully. I just said that That's just to make Josh That's why he's in the Hall of Fame. Yeah. That's why he's in the Hall of Fame. <laughs> so shout out to him. Shout out to Kobe Bryant. I hope uh, Tim Duncan comes in the shorts and the sandals set that he did when he got, what was it, the... Uh, I forgot what award he got, but Ooh, it's a picture MVP. of him and Commissioner Stern. Yeah, when he got MVP, he yep. was wearing an official West Indian outfit. Shorts and sandals, no lotion on the toes. Word up. Shout out to him. Open toe sandals. He wore, like hiking he wore a West Indian He wore a West Indian tuxedo. <laughs> he's gonna he's definitely coming to this shit dressed like a Pokemon master. <laughs> El, Rudy, Rudy Tom Douglas. John of the bitch. Okay. He's an excellent coach. I like Rudy Tomjanovich because he also looks like a villain in any, like, 90s drama. Oh, like, he's yeah. about to he's about to foreclose on an orphanage. He's like, I don't care where those kids sleep. I don't give a shit. Rudy, come he's, on. He's like an evil CEO, yeah. Also, a yeah. uh, little NBA tidbit, he got knocked the fuck out in an NBA game. Like, literally, unconscious. I got his teeth knocked out. Whoa. Yeah. Was it was it Kevin Garnett? His, <laughs> yeah, it was Kevin Garnett. <laughs> Kevin Garnett back in nineteen seventy something when Kevin Garnett came in the league. <laughs> yeah, if Kevin Garnett knocked all his teeth out, that'd be one hell of an uncomfortable Hall of Fame induction ceremony. <laughs> hey, uh, Rudy, y'all, sorry yeah, about the teeth. You know what I'm saying? But hey, great movie. I know you play football. Oh, Tamika, Tamika Catchings. Catchings, yes. You know for what the saying? Indiana team, Fever. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Shout out to her. Mm-hmm. WNBA, we out here. Repping. But wait, are they having an actual ceremony, or is this gonna be like a cyber? Uh, wow, are they gonna do this in Zoom? Imagine, <laughs> yo, imagine playing all your career for real, and they're like, yo, you're going to the Hall of Fame. Here's the link. Damn, nah, I don't want that. Dog, Come on. Wow. You and your family dressed up in the living room, like I, I can't get the connect. Switch the camera. <laughs> Turn your mic, your AirPods. I can't. He- I unmute, unmute me, unmute me. Uh, Rudy Tomjanovich, uh, could you share your screen? I'm like, ah, oh, come on, bro. He's like, I don't know how to do this technology stuff. I don't know. I mean, I, it's really rough. But yeah, Tamika, could you move a little to the left? Tamika, a little to the left. All right. All right. We got you centered. <laughs> Tamika, put three fingers on your head. Okay, good. Great. You got enough Everyone's just stressed. Everyone's like, ah, oh, we told Tim Duncan to call first. Ah. Oh. <laughs> Tim Duncan, How many people watching this off. are going to get... Th- how many people watching this are going to get all these technical references? Because <laughs> like I'm like, I'm watching the show and I was like, I was like, that OBS joke killed. And like everyone I know was like, uh, what the fuck is OBS? And I was like, yeah, yeah, listen, I explained it to you when the pandemic's over. We're teaching you guys. This is, this. We're, listen, we're learning on the fly ourselves, dog. I didn't even know what the fuck a C-stand was. I called Dave. I was like, yo, what is that, that metal weird thing? How do I place it to get the lighting right? And he was like, you mean the C-stand? You know what I'm saying? Which is How this? do you not know what a c how do you not know what the C stand is? Don't you have four kids? Uh, yeah. Oh wait, she had them. She had them natural. Natural birth. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh, got, got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. No C confused. stands. No C stands. You know what I'm saying? That's very. You're at the hospital, like. You're at the hospital, like. You're at the hospital, like. She needs a C stand. They're like, this guy's talking about lights again. What's get this Hollywood this ass out of here. Get, get him out yeah, of here. Yeah, you guys are gaffers. You're grips. You're makeup yeah. artists. You know We're union. We're out here, baby. Oh, Just be, a- listen. <laughs> I'm when I was setting up, I was listening to a little Bruce Springsteen. You know what I'm saying? Like <laughs> setting up, and every time I'm put, every time I get the computer ready to record, I pull my pants down so the crack of my butt is showing. In solidarity, yeah. you know all right. Saying? I wear a tool belt. I literally un- uh, like disassemble my desk every night and then put it back together in the morning. Yeah. Hey, so everyone on everyone on this call afterwards, meet me. Uh, you get yourself a code when we're gonna do a Zoom. Pretend we're at tracks and pouring one up. Okay. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> 
Um, <laughs> bon Jovi's gonna be in the Zoom. <laughs> We're doing things. We're trying different, <laughs> thinking outside the box. All right. Everybody else is just uh, giving you monologues from the couch. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay, are you guys ready to start the show? <laughs> Let's start the show. Another one. <laughs> <laughs>